Okay, we are at Isle Royale National Park. Uh, just took a ferry ride to get out here. It was a, about a two hour long ferry ride. And uh, today is a pretty big day. We're doing, our plan is about 19 miles. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We're all hydrated up and ready to go. So uh, I will check back in once we get on trail. All right, we've been hiking for about two hours and we're about six miles in. And it's been a beautiful, beautiful forest. Definitely challenging because it's, we're hiking fast and the temperature's 80 degrees, but uh, doing okay right now. Fun little fact about this park though, that we heard when we got off the ferry by the ranger was, uh, this park, out of all of the national parks in the USA, is the least visited park, but the most revisited park. So that shows you how interesting and wild and cool this park is. That anybody who comes here, they always come back. We're pacing at about three miles an hour. And uh, if that's the case, we'll get to camp before dark, but I got a feeling I'll slow down because uh, where we're at right now for miles is all the miles I've done this season. <laughs> I haven't done more than a six mile day <laughs> this season. So I got a feeling I'm gonna slow down here in a couple hours, but right now I'm still feeling good. So I will check back in a little bit. It is like 2.30, 3 o'clock. We are almost to Dresser Lake, which is gonna be our long break for the day, which to me is a full day's hike. <laughs> and after that, we still got, God, I think like seven or eight miles after Dresser Lake. So uh, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I, uh, legs, hips, they're all kind of killing right now, but I'm just kind of pacing myself. Hopefully, once we get to Dresser Lake, there'll be a good view of a lake and who knows, maybe we might see a moose down there. We're up on the ridge line all day here, so there's kind of a, not a real good chance of seeing moose when you're up on top of the ridge line. So uh, I'm hoping once we get to the lake, maybe see some wildlife, take a break. Hopefully I can just rejuvenate my body finish out that last bit of miles for the day, get to camp, eat some food and crash. <laughs> left a break at the fire tower right there it's too bad you can't go up in there i really wanted to like lay down and take a nap in there but uh we are at about 16 miles right now is that an outhouse over there that's an outhouse <laughs> that's random uh we're about 16 miles for the day and uh we got about four left so we're pushing i was feeling really really bad when we got to that fire tower but i'm feeling 70% I could say right now. <laughs> we'll go 70%. All right. 
right, we have uh, made it to camp. Nice campsite right here on the lake. So not bad at all. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and get some water because I'm not drinking almost seven liters of water today. And I'm out right now, so I gotta get some more. I get two more <laughs> liters down here. It's gonna end up being like eight or nine liters today of water I'm drinking. But uh, not too much B-roll was done today. Not a whole lot of good video because we were pushing so hard today. So now that we're at camp, we're just gonna get some water, make some dinner, go to bed early. I'm going to call it for day one with the sounds of the loons in the background. <laughs> I will wake up tomorrow for day two. chasing some loon with our cameras going up and down the lake here. He's kind of going under, coming back up all over. Um, and we heard them all night going. <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna hang out down here for a little bit longer. Get up and make some breakfast. Get going, we got 16 miles to do today. Check in later. All right, it is morning. We are back on trail. Well, I am back on trail. <laughs> Keith and Adam are still kind of getting the last few things ready at camp. And since I'm the slowest hiker of the group, I decided to get a little bit of a head start. They'll probably catch me in 20 minutes. But uh, we all slept really good, slept a little bit later than we wanted to actually, because we wanted to kind of be on trail by like 8.39. It's 9.30 now. Gonna try to take it slow today. I got 16 miles to do and it's already kind of warm. <laughs> if it was 80, 85 yesterday and it's supposed to be warmer today, we, we could see 90, 95 today. But I'm super hydrated and got some breakfast in me. So hopefully I am ready to do this hike. A lot more lookouts today, less miles, and uh, another fire tower that you can actually go up and go inside the fire tower. So there'll be some views from the fire tower. So I will check in later.
All right, it is like probably noon or something. We're getting close to our water source that we're gonna stop and take a break at and fill up water. But we are on this ridge line right now, just exposed to the sun. 87 degrees is what I'm reading right now on my temperature. And it is burning up out here. So I'm gonna have to take it slow today and drink a lot of water. Check back in a little bit. All right, we are at a at an overlook, and uh, we've made an executive decision to not hit the fire tower. That's about way over there. I'll show you a picture of that. But um, it saves about one point. What was it? One point three or one point six? One point six. One point six miles off our day, and it's ninety degrees. Ninety two point three. I'm reading right now. So it's, it's getting dangerous out here. We're making a, a safety call and we're gonna take a little shorter trail to camp and skip the fire tower, which we wanted to do, but... The view's about the same. Yeah, we getting a, we're getting a good view here. So like I say, we're making a safety call. <laughs> so we gotta get to camp. We're all very, we got plenty of water, but the sun is just, this is too much. It's just sucking everything out of us. So we got about two miles to camp from this point. We should be okay, but... This is this is one of those hikes that separates the men from the boys right here. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the campsite we're at a group campsite because it was the last campsite at like seven o'clock at night so but it's a nice campsite we got a creek right behind me so um and we got two other guys that came into a, the camp that we we're sharing camp with so cool guys from chicago and somewhere else i can't remember i seem to always camp with people from chicago but um it got up to like 
96 degrees today. We were all beat. We've got like eight, nine liters of water in all of us. And then we're gonna wake up early tomorrow. We got a short eight and a half out tomorrow. So, but we did like 16, 17 miles today, probably 17 miles. Um, and it, it really kicked our ass. So we are turning in, it's about nine o'clock. I'm gonna go to bed and sleep hard. So I will check in in the morning for day three. it is morning it's probably 8 30. we are on the shores of lake superior today is only 8.6 miles so it's our normal day and uh we're going to rock harbor so nice relaxed hike right along lake superior today and no elevation gain and uh a whole lot of easy hiking so good scenic views today from what we heard so i will check back in later I know they're swimming right. This is like the best shot I've gotten so far. Three loons right going past the lighthouse. All right, we have made it to camp. We did about 7.6 miles today. And uh, now we're about to go hit the restaurant by the visitor center and get some real food. And then maybe take a dip into Lake Superior, cool off. So uh, I will check back in later.
right, we're heading out to the point and we have been getting this fox on video for about an hour and he does not care about humans at all. It's pretty cool. But we are gonna go out to the point and get a, try to get a good sunset tonight. But uh, yeah, look at our little fox friend. He just, he just doesn't care. Scoville Point, epic views out here. This day has been by far the most entertaining day of the trip. Gosh, beautiful. I got a feeling we're gonna be heading back to camp at dark, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But my goodness, can you get a better view? Thinking about chocolate milk. <laughs> All right, we are up. Final day. It is probably 7:30 in the morning, and we all slept hard. We all woke up tired. <laughs> it is the last day, so we're gonna go get some breakfast at the restaurant. We got a couple hours until the ferry leaves, so we're just gonna hang out by the bay and probably get some sunrise photos. Other than that, this is the end of the trip. Got to give another big thanks to Keith and Adam for inviting me out because this was the coolest place I've probably ever been. <laughs> and I will definitely be coming back. That's why it is the most revisited national park I can now, and we all know why. So that is going to call it for this trip. Catch me on that next one. All right, here is a map of the island so I can kind of show you our route and give you a better idea of. Uh, what our trip was. We uh, came in from this way with on the ferry into the Washington Harbor, into the Windigo starting area where there's campsites, visitor center, all that good stuff. Uh, no Wi-Fi, no cell reception anywhere on the island. So not even in these areas here. So, but that's where we started our journey, started up right here onto the Greenstone Ridge Trail. And as you can see from the topography, there is a lot of ups and downs. We're on top of the ridge the whole way. 
and we did this 20 miles. We stopped right here at South Lake Dresser for water break, came back up, followed the ridge line some more, and Hatchet Lake was our first night destination. Went down to Hatchet Lake over to our campsite right in this area right here. So that was a beautiful lake. But uh, morning came along. We came along the ridge line again, the burning heat over this way. And I'll switch over to the map, the other side of the map and show you. Hatchet Lake, I showed you where we follow this ridge line all the way in the middle of the island here. And we stopped at this chicken bone portage. That's where Keith jumped in the lake with his clothes on because they were soaking wet anyway. But we followed along the Greenstone Ridge Trail still. And our plan was Mount Ojibwe Fire Tower, but that's where we made our safety call, was like right in this area where there's a good lookout. And uh, we cut down right here, which is our only bailout of the whole trip to make anything shorter. It cut off 1.6 miles down to Daisy Farm, right on the lake here. And uh, that's where we camped right along a uh, little creek that was right through here. Woke up in the morning and headed up the Rock Harbor Trail down past the three mile campsite and into the Rock Harbor Lodge. So uh, that's where we stayed. And this was a beautiful area right here. Um, at night, we took a stroll down to the Scoville Point right there, which was probably, this was probably the most beautiful section of the entire trip. And uh, came back on the other side of it, back to camp around nine o'clock at night. So uh, that was the trip. Ferry picked us up right there in the morning right uh here <laughs> very picked us up and took us out and we were out on the way out back home in the morning so that was the trip